stuff to Hank Strange. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it to the professionals. But we're gonna try it today. Okay, we we are officially live. We are officially live now. Officially. Okay. So guys, I'm loading up some uh, mags for the Glock 19X. We're shooting it out here. You can see the range down there. We're about 70, 75 yards from where we are right here. We've all got Eye and Ear Pro on, so that's all good. One of these Magpul mags. I'm a little slow with it, but I think I've got 17 in this one. So, all right, I'm gonna throw this in my pocket. We're gonna have some fun. Let's just start here at 75 yards, see what it does. This is really embarrassing. I mean, Michael, how many was I hitting before? Yeah, the first video was much better. <laughs> we filmed another one, but it didn't go as well with the filming part. I think the, the line is... Uh... This is just embarrassing. Hold on, time. I just, I just have to say, I just stepped in this ant hill, and uh, a lot of ants coming out of it now. But Here, I'm gonna you top know. this mag off real quick. Just grab a handful of rounds. I'm carrying the uh, four o'clock position, which is not usual for me, using my Harry Holsters Insider as usual. And so that's a little bit of a change. I try to run three to four o'clock, three to five o'clock positions every now and then, so I know how my product's doing. In that field. Alright. I'll come down here, we'll get to about 50 yards, and then I'll be able to ring the steel reliably. Probably about 50. Gotta pick that up. Before I lose it, I'm gonna tell them what these things are worth right now until they get out in the open market. But let's see how this thing does on paper. We got some silhouettes down here. Let's see, how, let's see how it does on the move. I'm a little bit bored. That was my hand activating, pushing the uh, slide lock back. I wonder what that was, and if it was a malfunction or what. This gun just shoots itself just about. Probably about 70 yards on paper. I did it again. That's bad. That's like a really bad grouping. I feel really bad about my skills right now here. Yeah, we're gonna have to show this because that was ugly. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying that on camera. It's okay. I've seen worse in the YouTube comments. Yeah, this video was be, much worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. We're making a lot of excuses right now. Aren't we, Michael? I'm I not, am. I'm not. I'm just doing the camera thing. <laughs> what do you think about the 19X? I like it. You know the best thing about the 19X, though? The absolute best thing. <laughs> matches our gun bags. It matches, like the zippers <laughs> are the exact same color as the slide on the 19X, and the bag itself is the exact same color as the frame. So, so if you have a 19X, we have the perfect <laughs> solution for you to carry it. If you have a 19X and you want everything to match, his pistol bag is probably the most legitimate thing. You want to walk back here by the truck, or no, you got it right here on the table. Check this out. There. I mean, I mean, of course, it's just an awesome gun bag with tons of features, but <laughs> you look at the zippers. Check that out. <laughs> What's the next gun you're buying, Michael? Uh, probably 19X. Does your wife know yet? No. All right, everybody on YouTube, do don't not think tell she watches wife. the live stream. So I think <laughs> we're safe for now. Yeah. So what should we shoot next? What do you think? Oh, uh, what's the new hotness? Where's that P365 that? Doesn't work. Yeah. 
Now, everybody, before you get butt hurt, I'm the Glock fanboy. I actually, and I really want the P365 to work. I, I got think... one that was really bad. Yeah, but what, you contacted them. Yeah. And what did they say? They, well, I didn't say that I did a video. So, first of all, I don't want them to treat me any differently than they would anybody else. And I don't think they would, honestly, from talking to their customer service. seems to be really good. Essentially, the only way the gun's going to get fixed is to send it in. Recool springs are weeks, if not months, out as far as being able to send one out to me. So, I've got my dealer looking. I'm on the wait list of my local shop for another P365. That's how much I believe in the gun. I'm going to spend another 500 bucks and get another one that hopefully works. And then I'll send this one off. Because... If the gun works, you, I mean, you shot it early. What's your opinion of it? It shoots. It, it has a very nice trigger. Um, it, fe it doesn't feel bad. Uh, just it's the this... reliability. And it, and it might be a, just a single gun issue. But And I'm hoping that is. I mean, I'm not anti-SIG. but a Glock fanboy. I'm a huge Glock fanboy. But the, the main difference you see in this gun, when you have a Glock 43, I don't have a Smith Wesson Shield out here. Here, you guys, you guys want to see perfection? The one in the front. <laughs> all right, sorry. I, I'll let that go. They're, they're the same exact size, though, essentially. I mean, this is a, for all intents, this is a little bit shorter, but that dimension doesn't really matter to me. Grip and height-wise, the same, and then width, they're pretty much the same. So, here, we'll go up. I'm not going to try shooting this at 75 yards. I probably should be able to see right there. It had a failure to go into battery. That's the same issue you were having when you tested yeah. it. Yeah, now granted, rounds, so that's nothing new. And the whole issue is with the recoil spring. I think it's a little bit too weak, and it was causing barrel painting issue. I got an update video on it. You guys can check out. But there is a lot of wear on that barrel. Yeah, that you can see. So what are we at here? Twenty-five. Yeah, this is twenty-five. Right. We're shooting like. It's not mini silhouette, but it's not full size silhouette either. What? I know you call it silhouette still, but it's smaller than most of what I've shot before. And I was when that goes in the side lock, let's let's show that barrel real quick. So we can get this to focus. You noticed it's focused a little. If you wipe it off, though, I think that might be more like the way the lube's burning or something. Maybe, but it does. It does. Of, yeah, maybe. But it's worth. I'm not gonna take it down right now, but it's a cool little gun. It's just not. You didn't have good luck with it, but you are gonna try a second one. So. Yes, I mean that's how much. If this was Sig's answer to the Glock 43 and it held seven rounds, I would not be trying another one. But that 10 rounds is, it's great. Like my good buddy Poe Performance. Check out his videos. He's having a great. He has, he's having a great experience. I wish this was better, but I just don't know. And the trigger on this thing, it's good. I mean, I was cleaning a plate rack at 25 yards, uh, five and a half inch plates. The day before I did the video with this, with a 10 round mag, all six plates were going down. And that, I hadn't shot it on paper. I still haven't shot it on paper and know how it shoots. So we're gonna do that here a little bit later. But I think, I think this has been long enough on the live stream. Yeah, we're sitting at about eight minutes. Yeah, if you guys, stayed around for that long we really appreciate it because we're probably not that exciting not really but i, I can't <laughs> tell if anybody's in here because the dji app doesn't give us that information <laughs> but i can tell we're holding 30 frames and we're live so that's... thanks for watching check out links defense gum bags he makes a great product and also check out perry's holsters we'll put some links in the description after this video gets posted all right thanks guys that might be kind of weird i guess i'm like your brand ambassador